fun. Well, it has been a great week, and I think it can only get better. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we've got coming up on today's show. So I'll be shaking my hips, Beth, and wiggling oh. my waist, Beth, with power hoop expert, Mr. Dodd. Thanks, Darren. That looked so good. And if you're tempted to indulge in a Caribbean feast after all that, well, then go ahead, as our next guest might just have the perfect way to work off the pounds and keep you trim. And because we know he loves to move those hips, it's over to Dan on the roof to find out more. Well, I've come onto the roof to meet Mr. Dodd. Mr. Dodd, how are you? Hello, Dan. Thank you very much. I'm very good. Super. Glad for lovely weather we're having today, so we thought we'd come up here. We are very lucky indeed in Norfolk to have such a sunny day. Indeed we do. And something a bit different, because when we talk about power hooping, immediately I thought hula hooping, but it's not, is it? It's extremely different from a hula hoop. First of all, the diameter is much bigger, so it's 70% more efficient and it's weighted as well. And the way you can see inside, you've got some wavy little chambers. Yeah, when they get in the way, or well, they actually move, don't they? They're squishy. They are a bit squishy because what do they do is they hit your abdominals very deep into the core and they strengthen your core, trim your waist and reinforce the lower part of your back as well. I fell in love with the product straight away. I went to the training, I fell in love with it more. I got passionate so much that I thought, I'm going to start the classes ASAP. And you take your hoop all over the world, don't you? I really do. I mean, I can't live without my hoop. If I could sleep with it, I would. <laughs> uh, the great thing about it is we can divide the hoop in eight links. So literally, you just open the hoop and you uh, have eight links. Okay. Great Wall of China. Indeed. I've seen you hooping, power hooping there. In front of the Colosseum in Rome. Indeed, as well. But yeah. where else have you been doing it? I've been to Corfu, I've been to Paris as well because I've launched the product in France and Belgium. And uh, it's been a great and amazing experience for me, especially the Wall of China was very special for me because it's just like, wow, one of the Marvel places in the world to go. And going with the hoop, people really stopped and asked you a question. What the hell are you doing here with the hoop? Crikey, right. I want to, I want to, I want to do it now. Now, I'm going <laughs> to give it a go. Ex a little, you know, I, I don't know how to hula hoop, so I'm a bit worried that I might know how to pick it up, but you can be a complete beginner, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all beginners, intermediate and advanced, you go to all levels, there's no problem. Right, so disclaimer done, yeah. where do I start? I so, got my hoop. go into your hoop. Step into your hoop. There you go. Yep. Step into your hoop. If you throw the hoop to the right, put the right leg forward. If okay. you throw the hoop to the left, left leg forward. More Easy rule. So shoulders back down. Yep. So feet, hips width apart. Yep. So you I'm toes, hit your hoop. everything is facing me, all right? Okay, yep. Your body is facing me parallel. Yep. So put, put the hoop against the lower part of your back, okay. parallel to the ground, and you throw it. With, without twisting your body, you still face me, and you push with your hand really hard around your core. But the movement is forward and back motion, forward and back. It's not a hula hoop, so you don't go around in circle. It's safer for back. the knees. Oh, we're on my legs. Uh, uh, that's, that was, that, it happens, it's normal when you first yet, start. Though. So really, really l throw it through your core. Oh, you can feel its weight. You do. You're lucky you don't have any weights in yours yet because you're a beginner. You can add weights to it? You can add weights to it, up to eight weights. So at the moment, it's only 1.9 kilo. You can add four weights, which comes into the box, to 2.1 kilo. I saw there was all sorts of things you can do with your arms, like d yes. dance routines and dance moves. Yeah, literally, sort of we do some little warm-ups, you know, just simple aerobic moves. Yep. You know, if we do some warm-ups and we go through the hoop with some hill digs. Yep. Basic stuff. But then we go into muscle strength endurance, where you can do some shoulders, for example, some arms by pulling the hoop up and down. This is a simple exercise, but when you do it after with the weight, it's hooping. very heavy. You can go arms to the side, for example, to really strengthen your shoulders. Yeah. It's amazing for your posture and your spine as well. You know, we do a lot of shoulder press. Oh, I like this one. You know, always holding your hip centrally, and you can go forward and up, for example. It's really attractive, and people love it. People get so passionate, they can't what stop coming. What did people coming. say to you when they saw you on the Great Wall of China doing this? I think they, you they said I was mad. Yeah. That was this boy, and there was a, my husband now, who was filming as well, because, okay, yeah. so to make the video. And people were like, wow, they wanted to stop, they wanted to be in it, they were waving, so we had to edit a few things. But we can do so much for the hoop, you'd be so impressed with that. But that's pretty good. I think you I know, might be an expert. First time. I think I might be an expert, what do you think? But we need to hoop both ways. Oh. So you need to try the other way to do the balance training, as we call it. So you have to go the other direction as well. Right. Oof. Right. Well, whilst I try and <laughs> conquer going the other way, I'll get, take you back to the studio. Fabulous. Let's remind, if people can find you on all sorts of social media and on your websites and things like that, just search Mr. Dodd Power Hoop. Is that what you, you only need to do Mr. Dodd Power Hoop on Google and you will find me no problem at all. Oh, Mr. Dodd, thanks so much. Thank you. Right. Other way, you say. Thanks, Dan. He's a mover, isn't he? Loved that. And that's all from us for part one. Give us not only a little bit of that, but you also missed some of this. Mad yeah, moves. Yeah, alarming hip action there from you. I can still barely breathe now. And look, a Mr. Dodd makes it look so effortless. <laughs> he certainly I love does. That. He's very good. I love that. I would not have wanted to miss any of that, but don't worry. You can, of course, catch up with today's show and anything else from the past two weeks on our website.